Are you ready to lace up your hiking boots and hit the trail? Whether you're a nature lover or just looking for a new adventure, hiking offers a chance to breathe in the fresh air, escape the hustle and bustle of daily life, and immerse yourself in the peace of the great outdoors. From multi-day treks to short day hikes, there's a trail for every level of hiker. And with hiking trails spanning the globe, you'll have the opportunity to explore some of the world's most beautiful and remote places. These hikes will take you to the heights of adventure, from the Himalayas to old ruins, deep canyons, and windswept coasts. So come along as we take you on a journey to discover some of the best hikes in the world and inspire your next big adventure. Number one, Inca Trail, Peru. Are you ready for the hike of a lifetime? Look no further than the Inca Trail in Peru. This ancient path winds its way through the Andes Mountains, leading to the lost city of Machu Picchu. But don't let the breathtaking views fool you. This hike is no walk in the park. You'll be trekking through dense jungle, crossing rickety bridges over rushing rivers, and climbing steep inclines that will burn your quads. But trust me, the sweat and tears will be worth it when you reach the Sun Gate and catch your first glimpse of the legendary Machu Picchu. But the Inca Trail is more than just a hike, it's a journey through history. As you walk, you'll pass through tunnels, staircases, and ancient ruins, giving you a glimpse into the lives of the Incas who once walked this trail. And let's not forget about the food. Along the trail, you'll be treated to delicious traditional Peruvian dishes like lomo saltado and ceviche, cooked by your trusty trailside chefs. But be sure to save room for the celebratory feast at the end of the hike, where you'll indulge in all the pisco sours and alpaca steaks your heart desires. Number 2. Annapurna Circuit, Nepal are you ready for the ultimate thigh-burning, lung-busting adventure? Then try the Annapurna Circuit in Nepal. This 205-kilometer trail will take you on a journey through some of the tallest mountains in the world, all in the span of 17 days. With the stunning landscape surrounding you, this hike is a must-do. You'll start in a sweltering jungle and climb your way up to the freezing cold above the tree line. On the Thorang Pass, you'll reach a dizzying height of 5,394 meters and feel like you're on top of the world and probably want to be carried down by a Sherpa. Poon Hill is another highlight that you can choose to do, but be prepared to wake up at the crack of dawn to catch the sunrise and see eight of the world's 14 highest mountain peaks. The Annapurna Circuit is a popular hike, but it's not for the faint of heart. If carrying your backpack is too much for you, you can always hire someone to do it for you. But don't worry, the food and lodging may be simple, but the evenings are always fun because you get to meet people from all over the world. If 17 days sounds too long, the Annapurna Panorama Trek might be more your speed. The shorter trail takes only three to five days, goes from Pokhara to Goripani, and is just as beautiful and rewarding. So pack your bags, lace up your hiking boots, and prepare to embark on an adventure of a lifetime. The Annapurna Circuit awaits. Number 3. Kilimanjaro, Tanzania Mount Kilimanjaro in Tanzania. About 30,000 people try to do this hike every year. This majestic mountain stands tall at a whopping 19,341 feet and is just dying for you to conquer it. But don't let the beautiful views fool you. This hike is not for the weak-legged. You'll be trekking through dense rainforests, crossing treacherous glaciers, and climbing steep inclines that will have your legs feeling like spaghetti. But trust me, the effort is worth it when you reach the summit and can finally say, I climbed a mountain at your next dinner party. But climbing Kilimanjaro is more than just a physical challenge, and it's a journey through different climates and ecosystems. As you hike, you'll pass through five different ecological zones, from lush rainforests to arid deserts, giving you a chance to show off your new eco-friendly side. Number 4. The Tour du Mont Blanc in the Alps Take one of the most iconic hikes in Europe and impress your friends back home with your vacation photos, the Tour de Mont Blanc in the Alps. This 170-kilometer trail takes you on a journey through three countries, France, Italy, and Switzerland, and offers some of the most Instagrammable views of the Mont Blanc Massif. Get ready for the ultimate European adventure. The Tour de Mont Blanc is not just a hike, but a cultural and culinary journey through the beautiful alpine villages of France, Italy, and Switzerland. With the Mont Blanc Massif as your backdrop, you'll trek through steep meadows, cross rocky passes, and climb steep inclines while practicing your high school French-Italian and German with the locals. But that's not all. 
And the real treat is the traditional Alpine dishes like fondue and raclette that you'll get to indulge in along the way and maybe even learn how to pronounce correctly. And let's not forget about the sense of accomplishment you'll feel as you reach the summit with breathtaking views, new friends, and memories to last a lifetime. And don't worry about the blisters. They'll make great conversation starters back home. If you enjoy our videos, join us on our journey worldwide by subscribing to our channel. Please click the bell icon to get notified when we publish a new travel video. Number 5. Everest Base Camp, Nepal the Everest Base Camp hike is probably best described by the words up and down. This 65-kilometer one-way trail climbs a mountain ridge, drops down to a river, and then climbs another mountain ridge on its way to base camp. The hike takes an average of 12 to 14 days and is very high, the highest point in 5,500 meters. Still, most of the walking is between 3,500 meters and 4,500 meters. The air is thin here, so any work seems to take twice as long. Be aware that from base camp, you can't see the top of Mount Everest. You will, however, be able to see it from different parts of the trail when other big mountains do not block it. The best times to go on the hike are between March and May and September and December when the weather is mild and the sky is clear. You can stop at the Namchi Bazaar, the Everest View Hotel, the highest hotel on Earth, and the Tongbosh Monastery. The places to stay along the trail are simple but comfortable and easy to find. This is a path that many people take, and you can find your way yourself with the help of one of the many outfitters. Number 6. The W Circuit, Torres del Paine, Patagonia, Chile are you ready for an adventure that will make all your Instagram followers jealous? Look no further than the Torres del Paine W Circuit in Chile. This famous trail takes you on a journey through some of the most beautiful landscapes in Patagonia, including glistening glaciers, turquoise lakes, and jagged mountain peaks. Since the trail and services have improved over the past few years, you no longer have to carry your gear. Most people take between four and six days to do the hike, and the best time is from December to February. You must make a reservation reservation to stay in a hotel or camp in the park. The weather in Patagonia is unpredictable and often changes in a heartbeat. Be ready for rain, snow, sun, and of course, a lot of wind. You'll be trekking through rocky terrain, crossing rickety bridges over rushing rivers, and climbing steep inclines that will have your quads begging for mercy. But trust me, the pain is worth it when you reach the Torres del Paine and are rewarded for the panoramic views of the Patagonia wilderness and also some serious bragging rights. Number 7. Cinque Terre Hike Italy The Cinque Terre Hike has been thought of for a long time as one of the most beautiful hikes in Italy. It is an easy day hike between villages perched on the rough seashore mountains. You'll forget how hard you worked when you walk along this old path and look down at the sparkling blue waters of the Mediterranean Sea. The Cinque Terre Hike is best done by starting at Monte Rosa and ending at Rio Maggiore. You can take your time and stop for a cappuccino and biscotti in the middle of the morning, then walk a bit more before stopping for a delicious lunch. You can stop looking at the view where you ate lunch and keep walking until you feel like you need an afternoon espresso. You can walk the trail and then catch a train back to your hotel if you stay in La Spezia. To walk the trail, you need a daily pass, which you can buy at the ticket booths. The best deal is to purchase day access for the train and the trail. Number 8. Milford Track, New Zealand The Milford Track is a fantastic 53-kilometer hike on New Zealand South Island that takes you through some of the unique parts of the country. Over the course of five days, you will see a lot of waterfalls, including New Zealand's highest, Sutherland Falls. As you walk along, you'll see cold, clear alpine lakes, beautiful meadows, glaciers, and towering mountain peaks. Each day, something new will amaze you. You can stay in simple alpine huts or more comfortable private lodges, but you must make reservations for both places well in advance. The weather in this part of New Zealand changes very quickly, and it can get very wet every year. The area receives an incredible 9 meters of rain. Number 9. The Bright Angel Trail, Grand Canyon National Park, USA if you look over the edge of the Grand Canyon, you'll see a hiking trail winding down the side of the cliff, 
across a broad plain, and then down again toward the Colorado River. This is the Bright Angel Trail, which is known all over the world. From the South Canyon Rim, this trail drops 1,340 meters to the water's edge at the Phantom Ranch and Bright Angel Campground, which is 25 kilometers away. There are great views along the trail that goes across and down the canyon, and many people hike parts of the trail in a day. If this is your plan, the Park Service will say you shouldn't go further than Indian Springs. Bright Angel Trail is well kept and easy to follow, but keep an eye out for the many mule trains that also use the trail. You must make and confirm reservations for the campground and the Phantom Ranch Lodge two days before your arrival. Number 10. West Coast Trail, British Columbia, Canada The West Coast Trail is one of Canada's most beautiful coastal hikes. It runs along the wild Pacific coast of Vancouver Island. The trail is 75 kilometers long and was first made to help ships that ran around in the rough seas just offshore. The trail can be made in six to eight days. This is a real trip into the wilderness. On one side of the trail is a dense rainforest, and on the other is the deep blue ocean. This hike is more than just an adventure. You'll have to wade through fast-moving rivers, climb over 100 ladders with a full pack on your back, and walk through long, muddy stretches. You'll need to be ready for all kinds of weather, including rain, wind, fog, and hopefully sun. Plan and keep in mind that you may need to book a trail and that they tend to fill up quickly. You can do the West Coast Trail in three to five days if you start at the Knit and Knot Village Trailhead. This cuts out a few days, but you still get to do the trail. That wraps up our list. Which hiking trails have you been on? Let us know in the comments box below. Remember, if you enjoyed today's video, let us know by tapping the like button before you go. And if you're hungry for more content like this, be sure you're subscribed to the channel. Please ring the bell so you're always the first to know when we drop a new video. Until next time, adventure awaits.